Oh, I think I, I enjoyed was a that factor shot that helped us win that game against because Arizona. I was more of a spectator than in the game. Thanks. Man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. What is right, it about Michigan? State? What was the? How's it going, man? Um, what was the biggest emphasis for you um, improving this summer, you know, going into this season, senior season? Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, growing just up in relaxing. School, you know, had, you know uh, find that comfort zone like and have that confidence. And kind of um, definitely, well, you know, always going to be working on your game and trying to get better. But, you know, it, it, it's not about me anymore. I'm a senior. You know, it's, it's about everybody else that has on the same jersey as me. And, and I'm looking forward to that, you know. I, I, that's... That's the best thing I can do this year is not worry about me and, and not be selfish. I think a lot of it this year is going to come down to helping other guys. And, and I've, I've learned that when you're helping other guys, you know, getting into their spots, slowly but surely, that means you're going to be in your spot. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to help. Um, how is uh, the role different this year? You know, you talked about the leadership a little bit, but um, just being a senior on, a, on an experienced team, um, what, what does it mean for you? Uh, um, it's, it's cool. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, it, it doesn't change my role at all. You know, I think so. even um, last year I was, was just a great win for us, maybe so, not have know, been noticed as much or seen as much, but I was just as much of a leader as anyone else on this team. You know, I came in here and and I think a leader is what's not seen. You know, game time it's easy to say, oh, those guys are leader because he's doing this, this, and that. But when you walk in here and it's just you and your team and it's practice time, the leader is the guy who. Um, who brings the juice and who gets energy? You know, guys, guys don't have rest, it every time. And, and, you know, it, it, it's it's those guys that can make people give the juice and help them find that juice when they don't have it themselves. Guys, that know, are they, true leaders in here. And, uh, I think you know, um, especially for this team, you know, me being in the position that I am, I think guys, you know, look up to me and and, and kind of follow me. You know, I, so, uh, you know, I, as much as I can, I try um, to you know, reinforce think, you know, what Aaron, you know, says because I, I recognize him well. trying to be that vocal um, leader, and, and, and I'm obviously not Coach Mato loves that, and he likes that. So, you know, I do a lot to make sure that, you know, guys are not only, you know, hearing what Aaron says, but actually listening and following directions because, you know, he's a great player, and he's not going to lead this team in the wrong way. So. You know, guys back. Um, so, I kind of just um, kind of lead by thankfully. example. You know, you know back Aaron stuff, says this. That's pretty much um, what I'll do out. because I know um, other guys will. You know, they'll they'll. What do you have to say about that? What do you think honest, about that? Well, if they see me doing what he says, which is normally what comes from Coach so Mata, the we can then they'll that, fall in line. The so, we get to practice, I think. I mean, this year my role won't change as much because I've been doing it already. I think it'll just. You know, it'll pay homage and people will start to notice a little bit more, especially for me. You know, being more vocal out there on the court. You know, I think I'm the most vocal when we have those tough games or we're in crunch times or we're, you know, at Michigan State or we're at Indiana and we're down by four and it's six minutes left to go. It's, it's That's when I'm stepping up and I'm, you know, we can't have a breakdown here. We got to get this rebound. We got to get this stop. So this hasn't been Do you enjoy going to Michigan State and Indiana? Um, or, or is it more fun, you know, getting those teams? You know? I mean, I, I enjoy every, every game we play, you know, rather be Nebraska, Indiana, Michigan State, uh, the team up north. Uh, we did this week. So Illinois, we're, definitely we're Illinois, Illinois especially for me being right. from Illinois, so you know. Um, really you know, I see so many familiar faces and, you know, just, you know, get to right. see guys that Thanks. I'm, Thanks, you know, Jeff. familiar with and who I've been playing against for a lot of my life. Uh, you know, even Iowa, you know, even when we play anywhere in this conference, I think we have a pretty solid conference all across the board and it's it's fun to play those type of games. Thanks how, a lot. How about Wenzel? Uh Time we're down or we're losing, uh, we come to a media time or yeah, something like that. I'll kind of say and try to tell guys what we need to do and Coach what's hurting us and try to lead that way. Is there, is there any one time, one, one moment, one time this summer that maybe somebody said something to you or maybe you were practicing by yourself? Or is there any kind of a, kind of a seminal moment when you thought back to oh, man. how close you were? I, I love how people are. I mean, is there any. Yeah, that's last year? Yeah. Which is uh, different. You know, of course, one doesn't usually have that. Hmm. But, hey, it's fun coming to practice. Here. Well, you know, it's kind of right in between. 
I think oh, that's great. Anybody, any space place, a lot of fun. Maybe something somebody said to you, or you get a little chip or start talking trash. But I think that's good. Well, that's I mean, good. at this point, you know, people kind of silently hold on to those type of things, but they let it go. You know, um, yeah, I'm never gonna forget. I'm pretty sure Aaron's never gonna forget. You know, I think a lot of people when we came back, a lot of people talk about our success and things we've done, but you know, in the back of my mind. Every we only thing that plays is, you know, we lost to Wichita State, you know, um, with a chance to go back to the Final Four. Um, so, I mean, I, I think people try not to, their speculations, they won't say anything because they're so excited about this season and they want to see what we do this year. But, you know, a part of me is still hold on to that and I kind of use that as, you know, a, a small candle flame to light, to light up this year. Given how long you and Aaron have been together, and, I mean, do you guys feel, do you feel any more pressure this year now that you guys are the senior leaders? Uh, not at all. You know, it, it's, this year it's, 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 it's I mean, you, you become a senior and you, some things are just patented. It's, 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 it's no more nervousness, no more jitters. It's, you're a senior. You should know these things. You got to do these things. You know what type of stuff, what it takes. You know, uh, you've been in possibly every situation there is to be at this point. You know, especially me and Aaron, we've been on humiliation and humiliating other teams. So we've had the privilege of being on each end of the spectrum. You know, I think uh, our poise at this level as seniors, it, it's right where it needs to be. You know, the tie game, I think, you know, especially some of our younger teammates might, you know, their eyes might get big and they might tighten up. But I know we be all right because we, the type of leaders that me and Aaron are, you know, we have the ability to kind of string guys and get them to get on the same page that we're on. If we can get them on the same poise page that we're on, I think we'll be good in the season. Who's taking the final shot? Who's taking the final shot in the post game? Um, folks, it depends on who has the ball. You know, um, if I get the rebound, definitely me. You know, um, but it, it, it comes down to who's going to be hot that game. You know, you, can, you can't make speculations or say right now. I mean, a senior. My, my mentor will say me, you know, definitely this year. But, you know, granted, we got some other guys who can take great shots. You know, this guy has hit a pretty big shot for us as well as LaQuinn Ross, you know. Um, so, I'm, I mean, I'm excited to see, you know, we got freshmen coming in here that we can knock down shots. You know. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have a problem with anybody taking it. Well, Lorenzo, you were like that down in the rough last year. Teams didn't really key on you, but you were knocking down the shot on the outside and the outside. I think this year teams are going to gonna know you're out there, uh, be keen on you. What are you, what are you doing in the offseason? Make sure you kind of keep yourself free of the offense. How are you going to be I mean, a lot of this stuff comes from a mental state. You know, me, I've been, you know, trying to had my game on doing the things that we need to do to win, whether it be scoring one night or getting rebounds that next night. I know teams are going to be keying in on trying to make sure I don't score this year. So in reverse, that's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to come out the gate looking to, for my shot and trying to create for myself as far as offensive goes. So, you know, I think the, the consistency of last year, people have been looking for it. it it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's, it's a frail consistency. It's just been me not looking for my shot. It's me trying to do other things because I know that if this team beats us on the offensive and defensive rebounding, we're going to lose this game. You know, whether we play, you know, teams that are heavy contenders like, you know, Michigan State or whatnot, those those type of teams play, you know, tough basketball and they grind you down. You, you had uh, Jared take one year and Deshaun. Who's that guy this year that has to get that for you? Who's that guy? Um, that's what's so great about this team this year. We don't, we don't have a guy that has to get that 20 points, you know, a game. You know, I think last year, you know, it, it, was, it was a luxury. I don't think we even had it last year. We had to get those 20 points a game. I think that kind of slowed down our offense, and it kind of caused a lot of problems with us mentally. Guys have been around, I think if, uh, you know, guys just recognize that, you know, we do have some scores on this team. And if we play team solid basketball and keep playing the type of defense that we play, I think it took us a while to figure okay. it out last I think, you know, year. I think we'll, we'll hopefully this year we can start to figure out that since we have you know, we don't need guys that Myers can score 20 points a game because that means we're going to have other guys when we score six. No, so I, I, I went to one camp and it was actually it's hard for defensives okay. to stop um, that. To play. You know, right. They can say, okay, well, let's ball we stop this guy from scoring 20 points. We win. That was about it. We got guys that each scoring 15 points. You stop one, and someone else off the bench chips in another eight points. We score. I mean, if I saw him, we'd have a conversation. We've talked about this. We've talked about this. You said compared from now to the Sweet 16 back then, what did 
you guys in prison. Does he ask you to play safety? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, joked, he's joked around about it. <laughs> um, I mean, we, we joked around about having a pair of pads trying to get everything. better, but our deep, I don't know our, if I can handle it. I'd like to think I can handle myself over there, but uh, defense. I think our defense, listening to those guys and talking about what, you know, that's all gets us by during the crunch, crunch time. Going back to the Haiti trip, what did you get out of that? What did that trip mean for you personally? It was a big, it was a big thing. It gets our offense going, and that's was a perfect way to springboard into this senior year. It's exciting feeling for us. It kind of just put everything back into perspective. Stopping uh, teams it was a great experience, but at the same time, it's still pretty so heartbreaking. No matter how much we do, I think our defense is going to be our What pet. people have to deal with down there on a daily basis. Um, We've seen that when we play the top defense that we're capable of. There's no electricity, it helps us win. no water. Everybody's it's tough to come by win, water. So. So. That and that's defense. something that we just take for granted every day. So coming back, it really just, it really kind of opened my eyes to, to see how blessed we are to be here. And, and for me to be able to play at Ohio State and if, if you show get the things that I do and experience things that I get to no matter experience, who, uh, just kind of take it the home. Home. What all did you do down there? Yeah, so uh, most of the time, to be honest, we just walked around and we, we talked to people. We talked to villagers. Um, we were supposed to work, but the, the equipment wasn't there, so we just walked around with the translator and talked to people. Especially in the tournament time. Uh, that's why they ask what's going on in their lives, just kind of trying to show them you know, living on a high some of God's love, kind of you know, you know, how that goes on, and think ask if we can pray for them at all. Level um, or not, we did that for, can't worry about for that three days, three, three of the like seven the days we were there. On it um, we played at Orange Street one day, we realized that. other than that, we just walked around and talked to people, got to know people, and it was fun. Speaking of lives, obviously you made a big life decision a few weeks ago. Just talk about uh, how that came about. I, she, you've been dating her since high school, right? Yeah, yeah. She, uh, she's been putting up with me long enough. Is that the mentality of this team that's taken? Um, Absolutely. And I was, it was the right you know, time. Uh, you know, we've been together for now, five you know, years now. And, and something um, doesn't go the way it's supposed to go. She makes me a better person. Or guys and, make, you know, the I wouldn't be the same person tired, without her. So, you know, mistakes, um, you know, Coach Mata's jumping up with the whistle. It was fun. Back to hoops now. What have you seen out of these youngsters, the freshmen, the newcomers, that might surprise them? I think you know. I think the biggest thing is they understand how to play. I think that you know. Um, Puts a visual image. They, they, they're head, a little like, behind you know, when it comes to you know, uh, you know our you know, our schemes, our offensive that, defensive this, schemes. But we don't. You know, we when it comes down to just playing basketball, they have a great feel for it, um, and, and they play hard. They, they, they don't say a ton, so which is a little problematic. But you know, you can overcome that. But you can't teach someone how to how to play the game, and they can do that, and it's awesome to see. Unheard of. How different is that? Different approach for you guys heading into the season, where it's almost like to a certain degree, you guys even though some guys are still in the new roles, you're almost kind of when you're sort of picking up where you're practicing. Yeah, I mean that's exciting, you know. Especially when you don't have to start from day one or start over, you know. I think the name of the game is getting better every day, and with returning, you know, juniors and seniors, you would think that you don't. Have to start All three years, you know, from that losses, low point. You know, other teams head. start from ground level. First two, two levels above two them. Points so you get better from this that one, day. Uh, it, play, statistics so would say that you know that kind you of have the smarter and the better team. Um, but at the same time, you have a team that plays together and that we knows that forward. type of level of yeah. intensity Having, that we need to play with. I think that's going to help us this year. Yeah. Any new chats going on the campus? We can't dwell on it. Uh, we have to get better. I think the biggest thing is to appreciate every day. Okay. Stuff, you, you told know. us. Because of practice right now. No, I just, you know, at this point, you know, at this point, you know, you kind of make your own decisions. Yeah, you know, last year you were saying how you kept it from him. That's a tough thing. That's a tough thing to just kind of did my own thing. That's cool. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Is that one of the things you try to teach new players when they come in? I mean, I mean, you use these examples for what? Yeah, it's uh, practice is practice at this level is different than high school. Uh, you can you cannot practice very hard in high school, and you can go out and play, and you can be all right. Um, it just can't happen at this level. People are getting better every day, and if we're not doing the same, then you know we're gonna come out, and we're gonna struggle, we're gonna be in a dog fight. So um, no matter what it is, you have to find something to get better in practice every day. Um, That's tough for players. You guys have two that can come in and get the job. Better um, something I, th I think can, I have a lot of know, confidence on for those players. You know, um, you um, so the thing I, I, I am happy about is you know we're known to play small ball a lot, and, and no, no. we have the size to go along with it. You know, small ball would mean last year we were putting 
Deshaun at the five. As I've grown older, you know, Sam I mean, Thompson at the, the four. Well, this year when we go small ball, you know, we but have the same time. Ross who's six nine. Basketball is, is a really fun at the game. four, and then you know you, you, we have my love of the freshman that I'm, away. you know, I'm showing Maybe a lot of, us. you know, favorite um, two right now, and I'm, you know, excited to see him you don't this move year. On. Um, Still he's there. actually 6'8", I mean, and he has size and you know, muscular strength, so I'm not you know. surprised, you know, but at the other end, I think Amir and uh, Jimmy McDonald game, both have been stepping up, you yeah. know, this yeah, year that, and making those type of plays and working on their game as much as Both of them, there's the senior in you that's earned your keep and wants to be out on the court, obviously, uh -huh. but if uh, Amadeo or, or uh, Cameron or one of those guys look like they really deserve to be out there, how are you going to balance that leading? Maybe ceding some time to them when it makes sense, and meshing in and doing what you need to do on the court. I mean, it's a lot to, um, to do. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I don't think that's basketball. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't think it, it's a problem. You know, I don't think I don't think the leaders are the ones who play the most minutes or score the most points. It, it's the guys that get other guys in line and and get the team where they need to be and doing stuff that they need to get done. So There I are mean, guys in their senior year that get sucked into that, though, I yeah, guess. I, I, I don't expect you to, but yeah. I, you know where I'm coming from. I, I definitely question. know yeah. what you're coming from, and that's yeah. definitely not going to be me because those are the guys who, at the end of the year, they, they feel shafted and they feel like something went wrong or someone was out to get them or they didn't get the success that they wanted because someone else stopped them from getting that stuff, that type of success. And, and you know, me and me in my position, you know, I mean, I, I've learned from some pretty good leaders. And, and you know, whether it been, you know, Dallas or Dave Lighty or, you know, granted those guys, they played a, a lot of minutes, but, you know, those guys were leaders because every day in practice they, they showed that they were leaders. And I think as long as I show that I'm a leader, you know, I, I don't see that being uh, – a problem. I actually think it's going to be a, a good thing for us because that's, that means competition. I think last year, uh, you know, um, in practice, I kind of got into a comfortable state is because I I knew that you know nobody was really pressuring me to you know be on be that type of that leader or you know do the things that I needed to do last year. Mm -hmm. um, I, but I think this year having more guards is going to add that element of competition, which is, you know, where I always thrive and, and where I, I'm at the top of my game is because I don't have time to worry about anything else. It's, are you better this day? Did you get better than this? You know, did you mm -hmm. did you do the things that you need to do? And I, and I know for a fact that Coach Mata is always going to play the best guy and he's going to play the guys who plays the defense that he likes. So I know that if I do those type those two things, then I don't have to worry about anything. And especially with this team, you know, we, we have a tendency to go small ball. And if those guards are, you know, doing something particularly well, I, I know that I have – I'm capable of doing things that they're not even capable of doing. You know, I'm the guy that – can get nine rebounds when there's six ten or seven footers on the floor and I don't think those guys can do right. stuff like yeah. that so I, I don't really worry about anything like that because you're always going to need guys who can get those rebounds and crash the glass absolutely okay thanks you, bud you looking forward to playing faster this year um absolutely I, I think I think that's going to be you know we've talked about it even last year you know that was a big knock we're going to play so fast we're going to be able to speed but you know sometimes you know you talk into an existence and I think this is the year where it's going to exist because we got the guys and we have that speed and, and you know believe it or not we kind of have to play that way this year you know especially you know us being a you know a smaller type team we have to be those guys that can play that type of fast defense and get stops you know it, it's exciting fun college basketball and plus that's what translating to easy offense and you know our offense is actually going to be you know skeptical and people are going to question a lot of our offense especially coming out the gate and I think they won't have the opportunity to if we're playing that fast paced defense because it's going to equal fast paced offense. All right hey, thanks a lot. Right, thanks, like this All right thank you. Different than UT because he recognizes a little bit more when when to shoot and when not to shoot. DT was kind of propelled last year from a, a pretty good NCAA run had that last year. I mean, what did that do for a player when you're able to kind of have some big moments and some big games when you guys need them the most? Um, you know, definitely from my personal experience of, you know, about two years prior to that, we went to the Final Four, you know, the Cincinnati and the, you know, Syracuse game. Um, those type of those type of games, you know, it, it kind of gets your confidence well in that area, you know. Um, but people forget that, you know, it's not like they're playing the next day after those games. You go through a lot of a, a process in the summer, and you know, with your coaches and with your teammates, and it's a whole different ball game. So, um, 
I, I can say for Q, I hope that doesn't, you know, his showing last year doesn't kind of put any apply pressure to him and what he, you know, what he has to do coming out the gate this year. This year, I think it, it's going to be big for him to find his niche of this year's team in these this year's situations and uh, try to go from there. He said, he said that he can be a different kind of four than Deshaun was. What has he shown to you that how he can be different than a different kind of player than Deshaun? Well, initially he can put the he can create for himself. You know, he, you don't really necessarily need to put Laquin in a, in, a, in a screen setting and say, you know, run this play a million times for this guy until he gets open. You know, mm -hmm. Laquin can kind of get the ball in the wing and try to ISO or, you know, those type of weird positions, those type of weird situations where, you know, sometimes the ball comes off the rim and, you know, Q last year had it been DT got it. You know, he's looking for Aaron or, or myself to, you know, I let the ball. I think this year Q. You know, if he's in the zone, I think if the ball comes off and he gets it, I think he's going to push it. You know, I think that that's going to add a different nature to this team and it's going to make us that more excited because we don't have to wait to run an offense on, you know, especially on teams that like to slow the pace down in the game. I think we get guys like that who can push it themselves. I think we're going to be an even faster team and it's just going to be more exciting and fun. Big thing for you last year, Lenzo, was kind of upping your scoring output. What is, uh, yeah. you know, reasonable expectations for yourself and what you're going to mean to this offense? Um, definitely, you know, as a senior, you know, um, especially being, you know, one of the more trusted guards in the program right now. I think shooting and um, I think shooting and you know statistics and for myself. I think being, you know, the guy that you know can you get 15 this game and come back and not get six or eight points. You know, the consistency I think is going to be the pretty much big thing for me this year. And you know, I've shown spots of where I can go off for you know whether it be 28 or, you know, 22 or something like that. It's just the consistency of this year, and I think that's going to be a pretty good thing that I've been working on, um, on my, you know, getting inside the paint and, you know, knocking down outside shots. I think just as well as everyone else on this team, we've been working on this, our shots over the summer, and I think it's going to pay off for us.